Ah, nice. I'm sure many of you might have already faced this issue if you are specifically a DI person and uh, uh, looking for a tool and you don't get it when you need it and you almost spend half of your energy in searching. Well, it happens all the time with me. I'm not a disciplined guy. Um, when I'm done with my DIYs, I don't keep my tools much in an organized way. And uh, that's where, you know, I end up searching my tools and drain all my energies. I have something, I uh, uh, got it from Amazon and I hope that uh, uh, in my future DIYs, I would be more disciplined and most importantly, disciplined on organizing my tools and keeping it in one place so that whenever I need it, I get it in a quick span of time. So I have this uh, box or a parcel that I got it from Amazon and I hope this would really help me in organizing and I want to share this with you. So let's get started with the unboxing or unboxing. Unboxing, it's already done. Um, now I have to just uh, show you the product and uh, let's see how it takes to organize it and uh, how much handy the organizer, the tool organizer is all about. Okay, Doki, so this is the uh, tool organizer that I have. And if you could see, here are some of my other tools, some of my screwdrivers. You have this WD-40. I seriously, uh, yeah, there you go. You have the spanner there. <laughs> I seriously don't know uh, where all the tools I have and I have been searching for ages. So this is a pretty hefty box that I have. Uh, let me place my camera in one angle so that it becomes easy for me to handle. But like I said, uh, I have already unboxed this uh, just to ensure that the product that I received is not a defective piece. So here is what I have. Let's get rid of this box. All right, so this is the product that I have. We have this Stanley Essential Rolling Workshop with metal latches. So we have three uh, containers. One is this, the yellow one and the black one. And then we have certain sets for, uh, what do you say, organizing our screws and all. So let me just quickly open this up. Um, like I said, we have this free container and most importantly, we have this roller as well, some wheels. Uh, so that it becomes easy for us to kind of drag it. So here is what the latches that we have, two latches. And we also have a monopod lock key here. So let me open the latch first. Okay. Nice. And uh, yeah, here is the first empty box that we have. And yes, we also have a latch here so that we can separate the flows from the first one with the second one yep there you go all right so this is the empty space that we have i am not quite sure about the liters i would need to check the manual and see uh, how much capacity of liters this has but yes this is the uh, uh, first box and it's almost uh, like a size of uh, what you can say a side panniers or probably the gsa 1250s uh, side panniers and uh, we can organize all the stuffs here and uh, this is one and we have this uh, second floor wherein we have to separate it from the third one. Okay. Yep. So this is the second floor and um, I think we can actually keep a long, uh, what you can say, tool, something of a screwdriver or a wrench socket as such. And then we have the last one which has a deep space here and this could be probably used for uh, keeping all the machines uh, maybe uh, a drill machine or something of that sort all right so now this were all the uh, boxes that we have the second floor the uh, third floor and the first floor so one two and three um, and uh, like i said i have all the nasty stuffs let me get in there so if you could see i have all this uh, tools lying around in almost all the places and some of my guinea pigs here hello 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 all right so uh, let me take this and uh, organize it let's hope that uh, it doesn't take much time for me I literally have no clue on how I'll be organizing this. There are many more. So here I have some more tools in this box. Here I 
I, I really doubt that all my tools could fit in but uh, the other important thing is what I just noticed is so I have mix of elements here one is about the tools that I use the others are uh, you know the spray that I use for my bikes and some of my bike spares that I have so uh, I just need to I'm just thinking you know how I can kind of organize it in in a nicer way where I can actually find my tools where I can actually find my accessories for my bikes, this cleaner accessory stuff and also some of the other space within this kind of, within this box basically. So um, let's, let's, let's get started. I think without getting started, we won't understand where we are heading, but uh, yes, at least I have an idea on what I have to organize it. Um, so uh, the least or the less user tools, which is the, uh, drill machines and other stuff I would be placing in this box um, then uh, I think I can use this one for the larger tools that is this uh, screwdrivers and uh, wrench socket that I have that I can use it here and also uh, the other tools the smaller ones I think the smaller one should go in that box because that is what I would be using more often and that's the first flow so that makes sense to uh, um, have it there and probably in the third floor i can actually put all my uh, um what do you say bike accessory stuff so what i have here this the brake cleaner then i have this uh, rubber and plastic care then i also have this what was what's this chain lube yes and again i think this is also a chain lube i guess a chain cleaner wd-40 and i do have a couple of more uh, cans in this box and I need to also check what I have in this. So it's so much of things, so much of things shattered here and there. Okay, first thing first about this boxes. First, I'll remove the uh, drill machines that I have it here. So that's the I use often for drilling. And I use this for my Now we Indians always try to use the new product to its maximum capacity and, and always try to ensure that, you know, the product that we buy last really long so what i'll do is i'll put some plastic bag inside so that i don't see any scratches coming in and this lasts for a longer period of time all right and here's some other uh, bike spares okay i think i'm good with the third floor let me get the second floor here okay Yes, nice let me latch it here so the other tools that I have to keep it here is the longer one yeah it doesn't so I have to keep it in my first floor box okay fair enough okay all righty then and uh, this seems to be a little organized for now all i need to see is how long this stays with me now it's 16.8 kg if i put some more pressure does it changes yeah it does so yeah 16.8 nice and uh, with 16.8 uh, handling with this and it is still staying intact is again a nicer thing well, I won't be using this rather I will be using this more often because we have this wheels with us which is very much functional wow ah, tools are like a toys for us you know we are all good for this vlog and yes uh, if you have realized that I have uh, um, recorded this vlog in English uh, just to understand the reach that I get in each views uh, because the other day I was doing this YouTube analysis and I did saw there were a couple of videos I think specifically about the motor vlogs and this TRK ownership I did got certain views from uh, uh, outside of India the other geological locations US and Paris Italy in Paris Italy I think this is more of the Benelli TRK because that was the highest selling model in in Italy or Spain I think yeah I, I think it was Italy so uh, I kind of started with an experiment just to understand that uh, if it is a non motor vlogging vlog or a video or a non Benelli or a, a bike vlog 
what's the reach that I get it from other geological locations. So that's where you could see this whole vlog is recorded in English and sometime later, probably after a month or weeks, I would kind of just analyze what's the reach that we have got in this video and the reach is basically about the geological locations. Okay. All right, guys, with that said, I think it's time to end the vlog. Hope you like this vlog. And if you did, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Meet you in the next vlog. Till then, be safe and be healthy.